my name's Justin, and this is The Art of Repair. And we might just have ourselves a scandal on our hands. Scandal? What are you talking about, Justin? What has Apple done now? <coughs> well, first and foremost, you're the one that said Apple, not me. But, I mean, if we're gonna go ahead and talk about it, Earlier today, I was just scrolling around through Instagram, doing my thing, having a good time, checking out everybody's new content, because that's something I love to do. And I come across a post, and you know, I'll definitely link down in the description, you know, the post and everything, so you guys can check it out yourselves and stuff. But this post was a little bit different, you know. Maybe, maybe it was just something that I hadn't really paid attention to before, but I. <laughs> It seems like Apple might not be reporting proper battery statistics within the battery health section of the settings. Um, now, let me explain this a little bit further. Um, when you hook your phone up to a diagnostic tool, like, uh, like 3U Tools, Coconut Battery, iTools, there's a whole plethora of these types of tools, um, you usually get a little battery percentage which denotes um, the actual capacity versus the original design capacity and it derives a number and gives you a true battery percentage. So, you know, say for instance you've got like a year and a half old battery and you bring it into a repair shop, they plug it into their diagnostic equipment and it'll say, hey, you know, maybe this battery is like 85% of the original capacity. Well, you know what, at that time we usually recommend to our customers it's time to get a new battery. In fact, this is exactly how Apple does it. When you take your phone to their store, they open up their app, the, the Apple you know, settings, they look at it and they say, hey, you know, because of X and X number, we either A, going to give you a battery, or B, not going to hook you up with a battery. Um, you know, obviously at this point, you know, if you decide you want to pay them, I'm sure you can get it done no matter what and everything. But there are times where, you know, you're within warranty and your battery's just acting really bad and not really working that well and you just feel like you want to head to Apple and have them check it anyway but you go in there and lo and behold your battery is still at like I don't know like 90 to 95 percent and you leave the store you're really confused and guess what the perpetual myth of battery cells being mysterious magical things continues to you know, you know perpetuate throughout your life but the crazy thing is and let's bring it back to this Instagram post as I'm scrolling through here, I see this post, I look at it, and in one hand, the phone right there, you know, has a pretty high percentage on it. I don't exactly remember the percentage. I know it was like 90 or above. And then we're looking at, on the same screen, hooked up to the phone, a percentage on the diagnostic tool that is way, way below this. And you know, there really wasn't a lot of activity on this post and like I instantly had this feeling inside and I was like, this is wrong. There's something wrong here. It's not, this is not how it's supposed to be. I mean, anybody that knows anything about batteries knows, especially with, you know, iPhone batteries, knows that in the protection circuit, um, there's just literally a, a, a little fuel gauge and there's, for the most part, I wouldn't say a static number, but a dynamic number that should be the exact same as what's in the battery health in any of the diagnostic tools, okay? It should be the exact same. So if you look at the battery health, it should say, well, that's more people telling me about batteries, I guarantee that. If, you know, if it says 85% in the Apple tools, it should say 85% in the diagnostic tools. It's reading the same information, okay? Now, that brings me to my next point. We're just really trying to figure out if this is like a legitimate thing now or not, okay? Now, I said, you know, we're trying to figure out if there's a scandal going on. We're not sure yet. And the reason I'm here today making this video is because I need your help. It's almost 10 o'clock here, but this is a big deal. In America, everybody's awake right now, and I, I just really need everybody's help. I can't really go into the markets right now, buy a bunch of batteries and do testing, but you know, I feel like this really deserves a video so that you know all the other technicians out there can go and do some of the research and figure out what's going on so as a group we can collectively come together and figure out if this is actually a legitimate issue, okay? Now, for my own personal research um, and you know, talking to people and everything, you know, internally I have seen 
a ton of screenshots and pictures at this point that prove this to be a real issue, okay? From what I'm seeing, sometimes we're getting weird numbers on the diagnostic tool side, sometimes we're getting weird numbers on the, the Apple setting side, and I would say a good majority of the time we're getting the, the Apple settings and the diagnostics being really close, but when we take the battery out of the phone and we test it in a hardware tester, we're getting absolutely crazy results. I've got messages right now showing 3U tools and um, Apple settings at 53%, but when they take the battery out of the device and they test it on an actual hardware reader, it's actually showing close to 23, 24% of actual capacity. What's going on here? We need to figure this out. Um, with that being said, um, I've come up with a couple test procedures here that I think would be really beneficial across the board if everybody could kind of follow these little, uh, this, this little bit of protocol here. Um, number one, if you want to help out, we definitely need your help right now. We need as much information as we can, but I am definitely not trying to start something for absolutely no reason and you know trying to you know fan the flames of hate or anything like that i want to get real information and i want to find out if this is a real issue okay so number one if you have a hardware battery tester that will give you the statistic the, the statistics from the battery without actually plugging it into a phone get that information write it down okay then once you have that information um some of these will actually uh, tell you the the battery information right off the gate and some of them you'll actually have to do a little bit of math um, where you take the original design capacity which is printed on the battery divide it by a hundred take that number that would equal one percent okay now that you've got your one percent number um, you can use that to derive the actual capacity of the battery by looking at the statistics and seeing what the actual capacity is and dividing that number by your 1% number. That'll give you the capacity of the battery if it doesn't actually give it to you. Next step, you really need to go, and you know what, I'm gonna pull out my phone here so I don't miss any of these steps. I wrote them all down and everything. Don't wanna goof up on this. Well, I got a lot of messages here. Ooh. Let's see. Step number two, um, make sure you note the battery health as prescribed in the Apple settings, okay? Right in battery health, you just settings, boom, battery, click it. You should be able to derive this information from there. Write that down as well, okay? Um, next, you're gonna wanna use some of your uh, third-party diagnostic tools. Um, these would be like 3U tools, coconut battery, iTools, there's a whole plethora of them out there. But you need to use at least two other ones so we can get some you know, different information here, okay? Um, the next thing you're going to want to do here is you're going to want to log all the actual capacities across the board with all these tools into maybe like a spreadsheet. I know that somebody was talking, uh, I think it was, yeah, it was, uh, I think it was Ricky Baker. He was talking about actually getting together like a Google Drive form and having everybody kind of work in that so we could see what was going on here. Once you have all of this information down, if you notice discrepancies, this is key, if you notice discrepancies across these numbers, anything at all, even if it's 5% or less, it doesn't matter. If you notice an issue, you need to run the test a second time from another device, okay? We're trying to preclude any issues with the device being the cause of these you know, anomalies and you know, discrepancies and everything like that. If after you have run this test two times across, if like I said, if possible, a hardware tester, um, the actual phone itself through the Apple settings and through the diagnostic software on two different devices you've pretty much confirmed the issue on your own I think it would be really important just to get you know proof sake here that you take a video of this once you've actually noted the issue and you've confirmed the issue so you know maybe take a little video of you plugging it into different apps showing the different statistics and everything like that uh, showing the screen of the phone showing that it is it's got like a like a messed up capacity versus what you're actually seeing. Like we, we need to be able to see this all in one area so we can uh, you know so we can kind of prove the issue. Um, anyway, like I said, this it. There's literally nothing like people getting 
right up in your jam while you're you're shooting. So I'm sorry about that. Um, they literally just right up in my jams. But anyway, sorry about that. You know, I really want to close this by saying this is all allegedly at this point. Okay. While I have kind of seen some stuff behind the scenes, um, it's a very small sample size. We need a bigger sample size, and that's what I'm asking for your help for today. Once I wake up in the morning, I'm gonna try and go out here in the market and see if I can get a bunch of batteries and do my own testing, but you know, it, it's, everybody's asleep here, everybody's gone home. You guys are awake, let's make this happen. Anyway, um, you know, normally I, you know, I, I, I say something about, I hope you learned something today. Um, today it's more or less, you know, I, I really need your help and let's see if we can figure this out. If you have any comments, concerns, anything like that, any information to add, jump down in the comments, leave something for me. Let me know if I'm an idiot, let me know if you think I'm right. Um, but if I'm right, man, ooh, boy, somebody's in trouble. Real quick, guys, before I end this whole thing, go home for the night and get this thing edited up and stuff, um, I definitely want to give a shout out to iDenver Repairs. Um, this is the this is the Instagram that kind of you know popped this whole thing off for me. Um, definitely would not have even boom. It just wouldn't have even happened if I hadn't been scrolling through Instagram and saw his post. Um, so you know, go down there. I'll leave a link in the description. Follow him. See what's going on. Um, and this is super important. I'm sure you heard I was getting those messages while I was making the video and everything. Um, one of those messages was Ricky Baker who actually got the Google form together and everything. So if you want to submit your experimental data, make sure you head down into the description. There's going to be a link that you can follow that's going to give you, you know, this Google form that you can fill out. They'll send all the experimental data straight to us so that we can check it out and see if this is going to be a real issue. Ooh, I almost got ran over. How about that? China, baby. And you know, sometimes I forget I'm on YouTube. Um, you know, like, subscribe, all that jazz. You know what to do. Good night. Don't forget, guys, if you're interested in any of the tools I use, check out the description below. I even have my own custom tools that I sell down there as well that literally do not exist anywhere else on the planet except from the art of repair. I also have a Patreon where you can help support the channel so I can create even better high-quality content.